All right, folks, today I'm going to be taking a look at a very special Ogre Warlock model from Mantic Games for Kings of War. Okay, so today I'm going to be taking a look at the Ogre Warlock for Kings of War by Mantic. Um, this is a very special warlock, but we'll get into that a bit later on. You can build one warlock from this kit. And if I pop it open, the important mantic point, and the warlock ourselves. So, comes on three sprues. Head and hand on one. Nice clean cast. We have his staff and left hand on another sprue. Again, good casting. Little flashing, very, very minimal on the crossbars there. It will probably come off with a brush. Uh, some gates under this horn and at this horn. They're relatively thin. This one looks like it may be a little inconvenient to remove. Just there. Um, and this bar I'm not a fan of. Across the knuckles. But again, we shall see. The detail itself is very good on it though, so it'll just be a bit of a clean up for that. And then body wise, we have him standing majestically, cloak blowing in the breeze. Again, slight flashing here between the sprue gate and this sprue gate, and again flashing in there. Although it's so thin, I can practically read through it. But overall, very good cast, crisp, and uh, no slippage. So let's get them cleaned up and assembled. I am back, and the Ogre Warlock is built, but not based. That will come later. Um, so, build wise, relatively straightforward. Arms and head or rather arm, head and hand, uh, went on perfectly with nary a, a join line visible. That clean up that I was mentioning before was very easy to do. So hot water trimmed away, off you go. That was the same the whole way round. So there were obviously the sprue gates between these pieces to make sure the uh, the flapping cloak and the billowing robes all sort of came out in the right direction so they all came off they could be split without much of an issue uh, you'll probably remember oh, that needs straightened at least it's been in the hot water for me to clean it uh, it may need to go in the hot water just to straighten this up a bit it's a bit um, bowed but I can do that later you may remember me saying about the uh, there's a cross piece across the knuckles so that came off without any issue. Again, definitely heat this up before you do that. Do not try and do this while it's cold and brittle because I think you would remove detail. Um, and there were lots of little gating and areas to make sure all of this detail came out in that order that just needed to be trimmed away. New blade in your knife and go for your guns. Um, the only major issue I had was down here. So between the skull and this um, gourd or flask and then his pouch of scrolls. Let me just see. You can still see it because it's not cleaned up 100% yet. Um, so there was a, a fairly large chunk of resin here because there was a gate running between elbow and flask 
and it was quite a thick piece, uh, maybe two to three mil wide. So I've cleaned off some of it, but there's still a bit of uh, clean up to finish there. I'm not sure if there was a better way that could have been positioned, but it nestles between these three points and it's probably the, um, the nastiest bit of cleanup I've ever had to do on a Mantic resin. It's still not particularly terrible, um, but then I've got the right equipment. I have things like um, rifling files and stuff that are angled and also have the um, face on specific sides to allow me to get into these. Not everybody's probably going to have rifling bits. Uh, so a sharp knife, hot water, again, will be your friend. Also, I'm not sure if that was just a um, an issue with the mould. So as moulds go on, you sometimes get deterioration, which may have put a larger chunk of resin there than is on other people's casts. Um, could go either way. But regardless, that was the only major downside, just the, the additional cleanup in this area. But otherwise, the model has come together beautifully. Um, it's just a shame Jesse isn't around to, to paint one for his own army. Um, if you're unaware, Jesse was a, a big ogre player in the Kings of War community. Didn't work for Mantic, just very popular. Um, did his best to sort of promote the hobby and gaming in general. Um, huge fan of ogres. And this uh, was made when it turned out that uh, Jesse was losing his, his fight with cancer. So Mantic and Jesse worked together to come up with this model, um, which ogre players will love. I'm going to be using him as Nom Nom, uh, as Jesse used to call Nom Nom, Nom 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 Possibly. You can see why he called Nom Nom. Um, but also Mantic are um, donating, uh, I think, 10% of the profits to a charity of uh, Jesse's family's choice as well. So beautiful figure. Um, great, great. I suppose, recognition that one person can make such a difference to a community and a game. Um, his campaign to get Mammoth Strider will forever be known in the annals of Kings of War history. And the fact that uh, he he was he was rewarded with both that and in the new edition, they named a magic item after uh, him. So Sir Jesse's bits of striding uh, will be forever on the tabletop. And now we have an ogre. Uh, fit for the prophet of Pizza Jesus, which is why we have things like this little slice design here and on the staff. Um, so if you're unaware, go and have a look at Master Crafted Gaming and some of the ogre and uh, battle reports that, that Jesse was in. But there you have it, um, before I get any more modelling. Beautiful sculpt, absolutely incredible warlock slash shaman slash wizard for ogre players and not just for kings of war and vanguard but i can see a lot of players picking one of these up to have um to include in their own armies rpgs skirmish games uh, it's just so much interest in the sculpt and such a, a beautiful dynamic pose um so there we have it that is the mantic ogre warlock and i'll be uh, moving on so there we have it. Stunning, beautiful model. Um, a, a willing servant of Pizza Jesus and the Prophet Sweaty Gigante uh, and a terrific cause as well. I'm really happy that Mantic um, contacted uh, Jesse's family and, and they decided to do this uh, in memorial of him. Even for people who don't know who Jesse was, um, he will have an influence on the tabletop for ogre armies and ogre players for years to come. Um, and I think that's just terrific that he'll live on in that way. Uh, if you're planning on picking one up, whether it's for Kings of War or Vanguard, you're going to get an awful lot of usage out of him. It's a gorgeous sculpt and a really nice model. So let me know what you think of the Ogre Warlock below. And until next time, remember the pie, the slice and the bite. Bye bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.